The human lungs are comprised of functional units called lobes. There are three lobes in the right lung and two in the left. Separating the individual lobes are fissures, two in the right lung, but only one in the left. Each lobe is supplied with air through a specific series of branching airways called bronchi. During inhalation and exhalation, healthy lungs have a natural elasticity. They expand and contract with the diaphragm as they alternately fill with air and then empty. The branches of the bronchi terminate in small microscopic air sacs called alveoli. Through millions of these tiny elastic alveoli, oxygen diffuses into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide is removed. Emphysema causes the wall separating the alveoli to progressively break down and the alveoli merge into larger air sacs with dramatic reduction in their elasticity. As the disease spreads, its impact on breathing becomes more and more profound. During inhalation, diseased portions of the lung overinflate and trap air. This compresses adjacent lung regions, reducing ventilation to healthier areas with preserved lung tissue. At the same time, the diaphragm is pushed downward and flattened, which further contributes to breathing difficulty. Pulmonics has developed a promising new minimally invasive treatment option for patients with emphysema. The emphasis endobronchial valve is an endobronchial prosthesis that is intended to control airflow. Designed to be a permanent implant, the device consists of a one-way silicon duckbill valve, precisely engineered to open at low pressures, but close quickly when the airflow direction is reversed. Through a standard bronchoscope placed in the trachea, the emphasis endobronchial valve is guided to the target lobe. Using a flexible delivery catheter, the emphasis endobronchial valve is deployed in the airway. The emphasis valve has a self-expanding retainer designed to conform to the bronchial wall and provide an airtight seal. The one-way valve is designed to prevent air from entering the most diseased portions of the lung while allowing trapped air and fluid to escape. During the treatment, several emphasis valves may be placed within the diseased lobe. By controlling airflow, the emphasis valve is intended to reduce the volume of the targeted lobe, allowing healthier regions to function more normally. In addition, the diaphragm returns to a more normal shape and function, further improving breathing mechanics. In clinical trials, emphasis endobronchial valve treatment has demonstrated its ability to improve lung function in some patients with emphysema, as measured by a combination of physiologic and quality-of-life clinical endpoints.